Killer Clowns are not going to be stepping down anytime soon. The Warriors of the Night got the chance to challenge the Killer Clowns into a battle over there in California. And it looks like now Trinkles the Clown along with his Killer Clown posse have indeed responded. And it's to no surprise that the Killer Clowns did indeed accept the challenge. I'm going to go ahead and read you exactly what was sent earlier today from Trinkles the Clown. But I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this major battle brewing here between two teams that have embroiled in a very bitter rivalry for the sake of good and evil. Obviously, we're rooting for the Warriors of the Night who represent good, but the Killer Clowns seem very, very confident. I'll read you the letter right now. I'm going to go ahead and cut to the chase. This is what Trinkles the Clown got the chance to send. Uh, quote, So you think you're brave, huh? This is, of course, in response to the Warriors of the Night. Calling us out like that. The mighty Warriors of the Night think they can stop us. They think they can stop me. How amusing. You want a battle. You want to face us in the heart of Hollywood. In front of all those amazing lights. Oh, I do like that. And I think it's a great, great plan. Again, for all of those who don't know, let me introduce myself. I'm Trinkles, leader of the Killer Clowns, and I'm the one who will paint Hollywood red with fear. You really think you can stop us? How delusional. We've been lurking in the shadows waiting for this moment. California is ours for the taking. The streets of Hollywood? They'll be crawling with chaos. You see, we don't just thrive in fear. We create it. The more you try to stop us, the more we'll spread it until everyone is begging for us to end their suffering. But I do love your little challenge, the Battle of Hollywood. It sounds so theatrical, doesn't it? You're giving us the grand stage we've always craved. And guess what? We do accept. But know this. You won't survive. You've faced the clowns before, sure, but you've never faced us like this. We're stronger, we're faster, and we're deadlier than you could ever imagine. You think you're going to stop our purge? Please. All you're doing is walking straight into our trap, lining yourselves for slaughter. We love a good show, and this Halloween, we are going to take over the entire world. But before that, we're going to send a little message to the entire world. Your warriors won't stand a chance. The lights of the city will dim, the cameras will shatter, and the streets will be painted in fear. And by the end of the night, everyone will know the truth. That the clowns will own Halloween. And you, warriors of the night, you'll be nothing more than a forgotten footnote in the history of terror. So... Bring your bravest, bring your strongest, bring whoever you like, we'll be waiting. And when the curtain falls on the Battle of Hollywood, it will be us, the Killer Clowns, standing victorious with your broken bodies at our feet. Let's see how brave you are when the purge begins. Signed, Trinkles the Clown, the leader of the Killer Clowns. Folks, this response from Trinkles the Clown makes it abundantly clear that these clowns are ready for war and that they actually relish in this challenge. In fact, this letter really amplifies their sinister nature, and I can only imagine exactly the chaos that they have in mind. I mean, if we break down what we just read moments ago, you can tell that these Killer Clowns they, they want this showdown to take place. They actually want this to take place so they can send a message to the entire world that this is their world, that this is going to be their time to make sure that they're going to uh, continue to, of course, spread fear. In fact, Trinkles the Clown even said it in the letter himself. He said that he's going to be painting Hollywood in red to represent fear. And that's what the Killer Clowns stand for. There are so many adjectives that can describe the sinner, or I should say the Killer Clown, such as sinners or fiends but of course the top one is just simply fear because that's what they embody they're able to evoke a lot of fear from many many people around the world so if this battle is expected to take place in california we hope that it's going to be taking place pretty soon because 
I'll tell you one thing. I do hope that this battle is lost by the Kither Clowns, so that way the Warriors of the Night get the chance to finally put this over, finally take down the Kither Clowns, and just absolutely put them out to pasture at this point in time, because I am absolutely sick and tired of the Kither Clowns ruining the lives of many innocent people out there. I mean, for the past, what, since 2016, really we're nearing a decade in two years, by the way, but for nearly a decade, the Kither Clowns have been ruining the lives of many people out there. They've entered into homes. They abducted a lot of people out there. They scared, of course, a lot of the uh, innocent children. They have threatened schools out there, and there's many other chaotic scenes that have been done by the Kither Clowns. So hopefully the Kither Clowns can finally, and I mean finally, put, be put to arrest this year. But it's going to be up to the Warriors of the Night, but also not just the Warriors of the Night. In essence, we really are a part of this too. Because it's going to be our job to make sure that we spread this awareness to other people around the world. So they're truly understanding what's happening and therefore they can actually prepare for the upcoming purge expected to take place on Halloween night next month. And that right there is going to be very, very, well, it's going to be absolutely incredible for us on our end to continue to help out, at least in that case. So again, I always implore everybody who's going to be watching this video to do what you can is just spread the word. Make sure to spread the word and, of course, share this video all over, whether if it's Snapchat or if it's Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case may be. It's going to be, again, it's going to be critical for everyone around you to know what's happening by Halloween next month. Well, folks, again, we are uh, we're close in ending the month of September. We are entering just a couple of more days, uh, entering in the month of October, in which that month, of course, will be the month where basically it's do or die. Either the Killer Clowns will commit the purge on the 31st, or maybe perhaps they're going to back down yet again, or they'll be weakened to the point that they can not take over the entire world. It's only just a matter of time. But anyways, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video right now. I will say this, of course, as always, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share the video all over the place because everyone needs to know, understand exactly what's happening here. Before we go off, though, I would like to just put this out there. The Killer Clowns, yes, they may have been here since 2016. And for a lot of people out there, you might be thinking, well, this has been happening for almost a decade. It's never going to stop. But there is a way to stop the evil that is within the Killer Clowns. There is indeed a way to stop it. And hopefully this will be the year that the Killer Clowns eventually do indeed finally get stopped. With that said, everybody, stay safe out there. Good night, and we'll see you in the next video.